What's going on fellas, Jeff back here with another tip for you guys and this is a pick and roll tip um, basically tips actually I'm um, just to show you guys how to uh, make a more successful pick and roll type of player if that's your play style um, now with pick and rolls you don't want to uh, use turbo too much you really want to jog and try to uh, rub your defender into your screener and uh, that'll usually get you an open lane so then you can make decisions by yourself um, once you're driving with Chris Paul or your point guard or whoever your ball handler is and you know with pick and rolls um, don't try to force anything too much because you will become predictable and then defense will eventually learn your tactics and uh, start stopping you and also you can learn um, learn how to do the in and out dribble to like a cross almost and rub the defender into the screener that works real well too uh, for pick and rolls as well like I said though just be patient with your point guard and uh, scan the floor and make point guard type decisions on who to pass to, whether to shoot with the point guard, floater, stuff like that. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do like manual pick and roll with like um, specialty type of players like Zach Levine if you're on the T-Wolves, so you want him to be your roll man. Now uh, for manual, you just wanna tap the uh, circle button on PS4. I think it's B and Xbox, but you, um, from here you can pick like a, a manual roll man or something like that. And here's a double pick right here, dude. And for this sequence to do double picks, um, triple picks, and even Yes, ladies and gentlemen, quadruple picks. You can even do that in this game. It's pretty crazy. But you have to do it in a sequence. Um, you want to bring the icons up, tapping them. And then at first, you want to hold the first screener's button and then proceed to hold another screener's button all at the same time while holding them together. And uh, you want to look at the, uh, the bar too so you know if they're rolling or fading or something like that. And that's just how it works. So for instance, if I'm doing a double pick and roll, I'm gonna tap the uh, circle button and bring up the icons right. And then say I want Blake and Matt Barnes, I'm gonna hold triangle for Blake. And then while I'm holding triangle, I'm also gonna hold square for Matt Barnes. And then I'm gonna look at um, if I wanted to roll or fade or something like that. And uh, that's how it works pretty much. It's the same thing for triple, triple picks, quadruple picks and stuff like that. And uh, I'll leave a few notes in the description um, to further explain it in detail to you guys if you didn't understand how I was explaining it in the video. But here are some game clips to show you that it works. Um, you just don't want to become too predictable with it. The quadruple pick could be glitchy, but uh, the lobs are defended a lot better this year. So if this was 2K14, maybe it might have been better, but um, I'll definitely use it in games when I'm freestyling and stuff like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like and subscribe if you're new to my channel and if you want 2K15 tips as well. And an update on the guide, I'm about 75% done in the rough draft. I've been labbing like every team all morning. I think I've put in almost like 13 hours so far. So I'm definitely going into the lab with this and I'm definitely going to help you guys out. Um, a lot of the plays run similar to 2K13. They all have like that sort of this play style feels like. I don't know if you guys remember Hammer Fist from 2K13, but it's definitely in this game, just under a different name. And if you get the guide, you'll be able to see that. But like I said, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe. I'm out.